We're out here at the Milestone Bog, middle of the winter right now. We've been waiting for the ice to form. We flood up probably about eight inches of water on top of the bog, similar to when we're uh, harvesting, except we've covered the entire bog, not just sections. We like to use the ice to drive on to put the sand evenly on the bog. The purpose behind sanding the bogs out here is to help the plant itself grow. The sand that we put on the bogs, anywhere from a half an inch to an inch. When the ice melts, that sand drops straight down over the plant and onto the surface of the peat bog where the dried up dead mulch is built up at the base of the plant. It helps break that down into nutrients that the plant can use. It also helps the plant itself start new roots, which will create new uprights, new plants growing, which will, in turn will produce a flower and cranberries. It also helps in covering up insect eggs and weed seeds. It'll stop the weeds from germinating and stop the insects from hatching out in the springtime. Years ago, when they first started raising cranberries, they started up on the Cape near where there's a lot of blown sand from the ocean or whatever, and they found that the bogs they had nearest it where the sand blew up in piles, it blew in the wintertime on the bogs, and they realized that where the sand blew on the bogs, it was twice as productive as where they didn't have sand. So they found out then that sand is like a fertilizer to the cranberry vines. <laughs> like to use the ice to drive on because it stops the sanding buggies from damaging the, uh, the vines that are growing. Once we get to four to five inches, about at the minimum thickness, we'll let that water drain out from underneath the ice so that the ice will settle on the top surface of the bog. That way, once we drive on it, it actually will support the machine. If we do happen to fall through, it's a lot easier to get the machine back out off the ice. We've got about 200 acres of bog out here. If we're lucky, we'll have ice for two or three weeks, which will allow us to get maybe 75 to 100 acres of uh, sanding done. These sand buggies here that we built out of a crawler machine, each track is about 21 inches wide, which disperses the weight of the machine and the sand in the hopper out to about four pounds per square inch, uh, which is less than uh, human standing. Each one of these hoppers on the back of these crawlers, they'll hold about six tons of sand. You have to be able to disperse that weight evenly out over the bog area that you're driving on so that you don't damage the vines. I was in my 20s, probably 22 or so, and we used trailer sanders behind a tractor. Prior to that, I know that they used to put sand right on trailers and people with shovels would have to go out the trailer would move along slowly and four or five people with shovels would sling the sand off onto the bog. It's a constant moving process out here. You try to move as fast as you can and be as efficient as you can to obviously to cover as many acres with the limited amount of time that we have ice on Nantucket.